Hi and welcome back to my channel. In the video today I'm going to show you five top editing features in Scribe to help you shush up your standard operating procedures or how-to guides. Now to save a bit of time I've already created a how-to guide that you can see here relating to scheduling emails in Outlook on the web. If you'd like to learn more about Scribe I've created a beginner's video for you to check out and I'll include a link in the description below. So as you can see here, Scribe has automatically generated step-by-step -step instructions based on the process that I performed on my computer. So the first editing tool that I want to go through is the ability to edit and format the text. Now, although Scribe has generated at least the first draft of the instructions, to activate the editing feature, just click on the edit tool over here on the top right-hand side. Edit the text, just click on the text here and then type in your text. To edit the format of the text, just click on the text and this will bring up additional editing tools that you can see. Now, for the most case, you either bold the text or use the italics feature. But in this case here, given that we're asking the user to select the home button, I'll just use the bold feature here. And there you have it. The text is now highlighted in bold to highlight the requirement to select the home button in order to complete this task. Now, the second top editing feature is the ability to delete multiple steps. Now, from time to time, as we were recording the process, we do make mistakes. The ability to edit multiple steps in a process definitely comes in handy. Now, if you need to remove a single step in the process, all you need to do is hover over here and select the bin icon here. However, if you need to remove multiple steps within the process, just click on step actions over here on your right-hand side and select delete. Now, once you've activated this feature, you notice that there's a number of checkboxes here that you can select from, which allows you to select multiple steps that you want to delete. So here I've selected the first two steps that I want to delete. Now to delete these two steps, just click on the bin icon here. And then you'll see this pop-up message to confirm that once you've deleted these two steps, it will be permanently removed. So we just want to continue. So just click on delete. And now you can see here it's automatically deleted the first two steps. Now the third feature that I want to show you, which you may have seen in the original beginner's guide, is the ability to blur out or redact some sensitive information. So now to use this feature, just click on the pen icon here. This comes in handy when you want to remove sensitive information or information that may not be relevant to the process. In this case here, I just want to blur out the emails here so that users won't be able to see this section. To blur out this section, just click the redact tool here. And now you can use your mouse to highlight the specific area to blur out. You can also blur out multiple sections if needed be. So if I just highlight another section on screen, you can now see that most of the screen is now blurred out. And then once you're happy with the screenshot, just click done to finalize. And here you can see that the area is now grayed out. The fourth feature that I want to show you is the ability to merge steps. As Scribe is automatically capturing your screen, it will create step-by-step -step guides individually. In some cases, the actual steps might make more sense if you actually merge the instructions. So to merge the step, just click on combine and then select the steps that you want to merge. So I'm just going to select these two steps here and then select combine selected. And this will automatically merge these two steps. Now, given that the steps are combined, you might just need to tweak the instructions a little bit. And now the final editing feature that I want to highlight is the ability to customize your standard operating procedures. So let's click on customization on the right hand side. So for the first customization, you can change the color of the target here or the circle. At the moment it's in red, but if you want to change the color to let's say orange, you just click on the orange color here. Alternatively, if you want to brand this to match your company colors, you can click on the hashtag here and include the hex code for that specific color. And now if we just scroll up to the top, 
Now you may have noticed by default Scribe has included some details here, such as the name of the author, number of steps required, and the estimated number of minutes required to perform this specific task. Now you can turn these on and off depending upon your preference. So if you just go over here on the right hand side, so if I just toggle here under show author, you will notice now that the author's name has been removed. And the same would apply in terms of the number of steps as well as the time. Now at any time you can turn on or off these specific features depending upon your preference. And that's it for this video. If there's any feature you'd like to learn more about, let me know in the comments below and I'll include that in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.